and welcome back to another episode of A Bit Nostalgic, where I continue to try out Sega Genesis games. Let's dive right into it. I have no idea what I'm getting into here, but this game is Zero Tolerance. I picked it solely based on the box art because it's so simple, yet cheesy. So, is it a cheesy game? Let's find out. No idea what we're getting into here. Zero Tolerance. Oh, that's a killer title screen. That was awesome. Okay, let's just dive into it. What are we getting into here? <laughs> Planet Defense Corps. Homeworld date. Wow, that's a crazy date. Crisis briefing. Insertion craft, whatever. Code name, zero tolerance. Ready, soldiers, for another glorious day in the Planet Defense Corps. You're about to do the job you were trained to do. You're absolutely the toughest, meanest soldiers of the Corps. Now listen up to the briefing. There is still no contact with Planet Defense's Orbital Space Station Europe 1. Here's recording of their last received transmission. As you can see, the crew has been overcome by hostile aliens. Due to the exchange of small arms fire, the nuclear cooling system has been damaged. Core breach caused by overheating will occur within hours. Aliens! To fight aliens? Your mission is to infiltrate the station and gain control of Europe 1 by eliminating all enemy aliens. Good luck! Okay soldiers, you heard the briefing and you know the routine. We're here and we're gonna kick some. Hit them fast and hard. I want clean elimination of all targets. Let's go! What kind of game is it? Toishi, Thomas Jorup, Tony Ramos. I might pick that. A couple of friends will know why I'm picking Ramos. And Justin Wolf, Scott Hale, Demolition, Marksman. Okay. The Weasel Combat. Okay. Let's go. And Ramos, Major Ramos. Oh man, this is. First person? Ooh, on the Genesis? Ooh. That one collected. Okay, I have to. A does that. Let me get six bullets. Okay, it's got a map below. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the left here. Yeah, let's just go. Okay. He only had like two bullets in. Oh, the bullets shoot you in the back. Okay, I mean, aside from just being rough looking, I can't really blame that. It's a uh, gotta go shotgun when you get it. Oh, more shotgun. So yeah, uh, I can't. I'm not gonna harp on it for the graphics. This is just a product of its time. I mean, I used to play Jurassic Park on the Super Nintendo with the uh, with its first person, and man, I actually thought they did a pretty good job considering. And man, Doom and Wolfenstein on the SNES. Actually, you know what? This isn't bad. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't bad. Ooh. Where did he go? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. So, first person shooters are, are not typically my genre. They're not bad, I, I do like them. Um, but I don't, I don't play them often. A select few. Oh, I was too slow on the turn. Okay. So does everybody I killed stay dead? Okay, it does show the enemies on the map, so there's three in this room. Three my ass. Man, they just come right for you. They go by so fast. Where's my health? 
Okay, it's on the right. So 99, I'm going to assume that's max health. A first per- I never thought I'd be playing a first person on the Sega Genesis. This is- I, It's not bad, actually. Like I said, I can't hurt from the graphics. 100% a product of its time. They're doing what, what they can with it, and it's working. And that's the most important part, it works. The control works, everything works. He doesn't work anymore. Bioscanner. Oh, is that an item I picked up that allows me to see the enemies on, on the map? Okay, cool. I just thought I didn't notice it before, but I think it's because... Ah, oh, it seems like a waste. Guys here, now watch. Watch how fast they just... As soon as you open the door, they flock to you. I'm actually shocked how good this is. <laughs> I know I'm still only on the first level, but this is entertaining. Not at all what I expected. I mean, I don't—I didn't know what to expect. You never know if you're going to get some sort of tactical game, some top-down game, a beat-em-up, a shooter, a shmup. Because that box art doesn't really give you a hint of anything that it was. But for some reason, I did not expect a first-person game. See? One more elevator? Oh. Is this just like ongoing? There's no levels? It's just literally get through this entire base? <laughs> How fast they come down, right? I think that's the only annoying thing. Is <laughs> they want to come shoot you like point blank range in your face. Uh, 31. Can you like... Oh, cool. Oops. You almost have to watch the bot... Ah. You almost have to watch the bottom of the screen. But they, they run at you so fast that they bypass you. <laughs> they like run by and do a shot. Run by it. Down. And everybody stays dead that I killed, so that's good. If that's the case, I want to go this way. This is nuts. How fast they just kept gunning it, eh? <laughs> it's funny, actually. That'd be my only complaint so far in this game, shockingly, is that they just run right at you. survive that yeah they come running at you so fast for a game that knows um, that turning is slow you've designed a slow turning game but you've made combat where you get annihilated just by trying to to turn you should have just had a program that they keep a certain distance from you I mean they do have guns level three okay oh wait no back to one I, I gotta admit, I'm shocked how good this is. I know I've said it a few times, but this is fun. It works. One minor complaint, not minor, but one complaint is that, like I mentioned, they just, they move too fast. They run right past you and you gotta turn and the turning is slow, so that doesn't make that fast. Now I'm just going it right now, just coming to the end of the, the video because I'm just here to try these games, but this is something I would shockingly put more time into. It's funny what um, what they've done though is similar to Jurassic Park is they've limited the screen view, which I think helps uh, the visuals, be it what they made, but um, by putting it on a smaller screen. Jurassic Park was the same. You'd be looking through your goggles the whole time. Oh, I looked down for a second. He's already gone past me. Boom! Boom! 
but I'm dead. Uh, boy. Idiot. <laughs> I, uh, anyway, so this is zero tolerance. This is actually really cool. Really liking this game. I would recommend it. I mean, if you can't tolerate these this old graphic style, uh, then it's just it's not for you. Um, but I actually think it's done it's done pretty well. It it holds up, shockingly. I mean, again, it's a product of its time. But uh, this is pretty good. Oh, I, sh I should have probably went back to yeah. Let me go back to that room that I died in. See, ooh, C switches the weapons, and when you get to the middle, that's the weapon you get. A should rotate it back. So I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to keep pressing C to get to the handgun. I should be able to just press A here and go backwards. I mean, if you're a fan of any type of first-person shooter from back in the day, I'm, I'm sure you'd have a good time with this. It works. That's what's most important about this. We'll just see what this floor is, and then we're gonna call it quits. Ooh. Wow, I'm going really. Whoa. So some of these levels can get crazy. You're gonna have to start drawing your own map and reminding like what each one connects to. This is crazy. Well, here we go, some different enemies. We got flyers. Oh, and we got aliens. Oh, got crabs with big eyes. Oh, they same thing. Oh, hi. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm trying to Boom! Alright, zero tolerance. Uh, a surprising hit for me. This is this is actually awesome. Uh, really impressed with this. And this is why sometimes you just ch take a chance on the box art. Like I said, back in the day when we'd go to rent games, sometimes that's all we had to go by was a box art. Maybe it, didn't, maybe it wasn't in a magazine or maybe you didn't have the most re recent magazine. You just picked up the box and said, that's the one I'm going to rent. And you brought it back and sometimes you got a dead game. Sometimes... You get zero tolerance.